Welcome to part two. When it comes to optimizing your review posts for the search engines, you want to make sure to include your keywords within the headline and title tag of each review page you write. Your headline should instantly capture your visitors' attention while incorporating keywords that will drive in fresh traffic from organic searches. For example, if you created a page offering a review on weight loss slim down strategy, you should include the full name of the product within your page's headline as well as within the article content itself. By including product names within your content, you'll be able to rank specifically for that product and when it comes to targeting desperate buyers who are looking for information on those products, this is exactly what you want. One of the easiest ways to create a fully functioning review site is by grabbing a copy of WP Review Site, which you can download here from WPReviewSite.com. And this is a WordPress based script that will instantly create a feature laden review style website that can be easily customized. WP Review Site offers an incredible number of options, including allowing your visitors to leave their own reviews, rating your reviews, or browsing through a number of reviews covering multiple categories. And this is a fantastic feature if you plan on creating a review based website that focuses on more than one product. It's by far the easiest strategy for creating review websites without a lot of manual work involved. Regardless of how you decide to structure your review website, there are a handful of crucial elements that you need to implement into each of your reviews. To begin, your reviews need to speak directly to your target audience. You want to address their concerns and reassure them that the products they're considering purchasing are high quality, informative and useful. When writing your review, you need to ensure that you're including accurate information. After all, you want people to trust your recommendation and return to your review websites each time they're considering purchasing a product. In order to produce the most detailed, thorough reviews possible, you should consider personally reviewing each product that you intend on promoting. Now, if you don't have time to personally review every product that you plan on promoting, take the time to research existing testimonials and feedback by searching the product title in Google. When it comes to writing reviews, there are several different styles that you can use, including a comparison review or a direct review. With the comparison format, you're directly comparing one product against another product highlighting the pros and cons of each product and giving your overall recommendation based on a list of features and benefits. This style works exceptionally well at offering a more personal feel to each review you create and offers detailed information to the reader helping them make a decision. Better yet, by presenting multiple products you'll increase your chances of getting a commission from those who are considering various products in each niche. You need to make sure that you offer a detailed overview of each product and that you provide as much information as possible when comparing multiple products. Focus on showcasing the benefits of each product, giving your reader multiple options to choose from. With direct recommendations, you're promoting specific products with no comparison of other related products. These reviews need to include a feature list including what the product is about, whether you've had personal success with the product, as well as a listing of benefits such as what the product can do for the potential customer and why they should purchase it. You want to make sure that your review site contains at least 10 detailed reviews unless you are creating individual review landing pages showcasing specific products. Remember, the more genuine your reviews appear to be, the easier it's going to be to convert readers into active buyers. So take your time when crafting your reviews so that they sound as if a friend is personally recommending products and services rather than coming across as a promotional advertisement. You want to make sure that you cloak your affiliate links within your reviews so that your link is hidden. And one way of doing that is by using a service like TinyURL, which you can find here at tinyurl.com. 
or you can use a snippet of JavaScript to set up your own redirection. Now here's how you do it. First of all, create a folder on your website called Recommends or any other name you like such as Reviews and so on. This is going to become part of your new affiliate link so choose carefully. Next, create a subdirectory that's another folder within the Recommends one and call it the name of the product that you're promoting. For example, you could call it yoursite.com forward slash recommends forward slash widgets. Now, open a text editor and copy and paste this code changing the Clickbank link with your own one. Now remember you can generate your new affiliate hop link within the Clickbank marketplace. When someone clicks on that link the next page you created will instantly redirect them to the landing page of the product developers site giving you full credit should they purchase the product. You also want to add an opt-in box to your autoresponder service and you can do that using the free plugin available at CodeBanter which you found here at codebanter.com forward slash projects and what this will do is it will enable you to capture your visitors information and then add them to your mailing list for future follow-up. Now this is very important so don't overlook it. You should also get to the habit early on of split testing all of your affiliate campaigns so that you can consistently tweak each web page, each review and each squeeze page for maximum performance. Now I highly recommend the A and B split testing software available at splittesting.com as well as the free services available here at Google Analytics if you type in google.com forward slash analytics you'll be redirected to here and this enables you to keep track of where your site's visitors are coming from or what type of website browser they use what their internet connection speed is and so on and a host of other very useful statistics when it comes to setting up squeeze pages you want to be able to offer your visitors something of value in exchange for joining your list. I suggest purchasing high quality private label content such as reports or ebooks that you can give away and are focused on your niche market. Always do your best to make sure that the giveaway product you offer closely ties into your main niche so that you can easily convert that traffic into confirmed subscribers. Setting up a squeeze page is incredibly easy and you can once again use WordPress as the platform for your website. I personally use the affiliate theme package available at affiliatetheme.net which you can find here affiliatetheme.net and I use that to construct my squeeze and landing pages. Not only does it come bundled with a series of templates but it's exceptionally easy to customize regardless of your niche from weight loss, dating reviews, to ringtones, there are a number of pre-created themes available that serve as both a review style template and a squeeze page. With affiliate marketing it's all about shortcuts and any time you can use an existing tool or resource to minimize your workload the better. You want to make sure that you pre-create your autoresponder messages so that those subscribing to your list receive your welcome email instantly while receiving additional follow-up emails as they move through your sequence. And for the first email that you send out after people have confirmed their subscription you could send something like this hello and then the first name of the subscriber which you'll get from the capture page thank you for confirming your request to subscribe to my newsletter you can download your free copy of whatever it is that you're giving away at the link below then you want to have the full URL including the HTTP and www uh, so that they can click on this link in their uh, email reader or they can copy and paste it into their web browser then you want to have a concluding paragraph saying something along the lines of I'll be contacting you in the future with important updates and special offers that I believe you'll enjoy. Now that sets it up so that they will be expecting to receive further messages from you. Then you want to have some sort of closure uh, warmly, sincerely or the one that seems to be in vogue at the moment talk soon and then your name. Okay next 
what you want to do is create a second autoresponder message that's set to be delivered two to three days later. This time your message should feature free information that shouldn't be any selling at all and this will start the process of building a relationship with your subscriber base. You want people to stay subscribed to your list because they find value in it. So make sure you create separate autoresponder sequences for each niche market that you're involved in and add the opt-in box to every blog, every website and every review portal page that you create. Outside of creating review style websites and squeeze pages, you should also consider setting up Squidoo lenses, remotely hosted blogs and hub pages as feeder sites and that will help you instantly generate targeted traffic from the search engines into your website's network. Here's a quick start strategy to help get you on your way. Step 1. Create a Squidoo lens at squidoo.com and make sure that it incorporates your primary keyword phrases both within the body content and the actual website URL and you want to place links back to your main website, review site or squeeze page. When creating a Squidoo lens choose keywords carefully as they will become part of your URL. Squidoo allows you to set up as many lens pages as you like so reserving keywords on future launches is a good idea whenever you hear about an upcoming launch. Okay, Step 2 is to create a blogger website at blogger.com and that website features your primary keywords and also links back to your review site. Step 3 is to create a WordPress blog, a hosted WordPress blog at wordpress.com and you want to make it so that it follows the same format. Make sure that all of your external landing pages and blogs link back to your main website. With your temporary blogs like blogger.com and wordpress.com you can begin to generate traffic almost instantly by pinging your blog once you have created a couple of posts. I suggest making sure that you have at least three posts written before you start pinging it. And then step four is to create a Hub Pages account here at hubpages.com that provides a brief review on a particular product with a link to your detailed review website. One thing you need to bear in mind about Hub Pages is that they only allow two outbound links and if you aren't careful to post relevant content rather than just one great big long advertisement your hub page can be removed without further notice. Okay in the next video I'll talk about the most important thing that you need to make your sales and that's traffic.